Welcome back everybody, this is Delasa and we're back with some more Factorio version point, not point, one three. We got our power clicking on here. We got a little bit of a miners here that are not terrible polluting ones. Let's go ahead and grab a few more here and we'll start getting our iron done in the same fashion. These things are just awful power, awful polluters. Uh, just to show the difference. Mining power 3, pollution 9. Mining power 2.5, pollution 10. So, way more polluting as far as that goes. Let's go ahead and just pop you guys up for now. And we'll set ourselves up a little thing here. We're going to do what I like to call instant gratification mining. Where we'll just set these guys up like this. We're going to throw them on a belt here. We're going to put some furnaces on either side of them. I thought I had four. Whoops. Four, please. Thank you. Oh, boy, I need I need to learn to make things more. Okay, let's coal them up. There we go. Need some power down here too as well. Wouldn't that be a terrible idea? Uh, power there and there. Wall is here and here. That can probably be removed. Okay. Uh, you are in the wrong position, my friend. About 20 of those, and we'll grab some more copper just to satisfy our need for that and keep that guy running. You need to go in that space there, sir. Alright, there we go. Everybody's all happy. For now, I'll just manually refuel them. Get a belt boat coming out of here. And over here. I'll connect these guys over here. And we have ourselves a nice little tight iron line. A little tiny iron line. It's not much but it's a start and you gotta start somewhere there's that let's run it up here just a little bit and we would like to get some laps you know, two should work for now get ourselves a lab or two get ourselves some science packs made i always forget you have to do like 10 of these in your pocket first Need to pick up some iron ore, so let's distribute that correctly here into these furnaces. There we go. Now everybody's all happy and working. Is our pollution cloud looking pretty small, so we're we're looking just fine. We are looking just fine for the time being. All right, let's plop down our lab here somewhere. Well, first we're gonna need to make this guy come off of here. We'll make some belts and stuff. These guys taking iron gear wheels, just, just gear wheels and copper plates. So for the mow, we'll make a box and we'll just automate it that way. But first we need to get some automation going. So let's just plop you down here. You can go next to him. Let's go ahead and sort these guys out let's get some automation research I just love this new tech tree this thing is just a killing me in its greatness thank god because it, it was complicated to figure out what what text went where before you didn't know you click through every little tech and you can also do this now pow <laughs> look at that military three there it is okay 
Uh, that is so lovely. I love it. I am just in love with that. Anyways, back to things we were doing here. Automation is in the works. Let's get you working on it too. We're going to need some power up along this line, I guess, here. Something like so. We'll get all these guys working again. Probably not necessary, but we'll get them working. There we are. I suppose it would help if we use our the actual number of science packs we needed. Let's grab a few more of these, huh? Oh, I know I can't do rolling stock. I'm not in a vehicle. Yada, yada, yada. Okay. Let's grab... Where's logistics at? Where's your logic at? There it is. Uh, 20. It's our fasty splitters and all that good stuff. Sure. I think we're going to want military first, though. We'll grab military, I believe, first. Let's grab bunches of iron. I need a couple of these guys for the start here. And then we'll need some more belt. Beautiful. Alright. What are you here? You are going to make me some gear wheels. And we'll just do it this way. I think it's a, it's a handy way. Put one there, and we can move these laps where we need them. You're going to make those. And we're going to take this box and throw it down here. Yep, and we're going to put some copper in there. And we'll go with this guy like that. Put a power on it. Yay, science. Science? We're going to do some kind of an interesting configuration like that and see how that works. wonder if that will actually work or not. It should. I wonder if it will split evenly or not. I don't know if it will or not. I guess we'll find out in a minute. No, it won't. Okay. That's alright, though. As long as it keeps going. It'll be fine. That's basically what I wanted is just science to be rolling. Oh, we seem to be out of copper or coal for our copper guy up here. So let's get you going again. And our stone miner is probably out of coal as well. Let's keep you rocking up here, sir. There we go. Let's think about where would we like to do some smelting at, huh? I think out in this area looks like a good place to start our factory out this way. Uh, starting it over up here involves way too many trees for my liking. And I don't have any explosive termites installed yet. And I, and I don't have the ability to research them and produce them. Anyways, but let's go scout this out while that's ticking away here. We at least have research ticking down now. So we'll go look over here and see what we can see. Uh, it doesn't seem to be too terrible to me. I, I think it's going to be okay. Do, 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 do. Logi or Kurtz. Let's get optics just so we can get some lamps around, huh? This is the other problem with trees. You get stuck in them. 
Alright, we'll run into water eventually, but since they decided to be so kind to put landfill in the game, the base game that is, we don't need to worry about it. Haha! <laughs> oh. Water is a thing of the worry of the past now. All you need is a lot of stone, and you can fix it. Okay, now what's this orange versus red? Oh. So that must be significant for base size or density or something, because this is like three and it's more of a red color. This was like eight and it's all dark red, so that's kind of cool. It gives you like a gradiating color change as to whether or not that worked, whether or not there's biters there. Okay. So it's probably not quite the same as it was before. I'm just gonna throw down a couple of belts here and there just to keep it nice and clean. So let me go and turn that off here. Uh being interrupted by things. Let's grab logistics next. There it is. We'll turn that off for now. There we go. I kind of like it though, just so I can see where biter bases are. Um, it's kind of an interesting little thing. Even without having, even with having it on, I can be like, oh, my pollution is getting towards that red little circle. So that might be helpful in some time. So, now we've gotten this a little bit explored. I do like this area for smelting. Let's see how much stone we have here. A lot. We'll just say that. 10, 15, 20. Let's see, it's two per miner. And I believe it's... 16 per side I want to say but we'll just do them we'll just do 10 blocks I guess <sighs> we're gonna need a lot more of those guys though and a lot more belts so let's get that whacking out on this little tiny bell here and that's not even at all so okay it does go back and forth a little bit though so it's not completely useless having that other one there so that's good Let me grab an assembler here. Yep, one of those. Let me grab some more iron off this belt. Then we need two of, the, two of these guys actually. Get this out of the way. There we be. Alright, we'll put one there, one there. I guess that one could be there. Yeah, that's fine. Plunk, 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 plunk. Juice it up like so, and like so, and make a box to dump it all in. Like that. I need me. Yeah. Gear rails here. And transport belts there. Go, 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 make me spill. Perfect. That'll keep you busy and we'll start burning up our iron that way too. So let's go start laying out our furnaces while that gets the belt built. We we'll probably should get some more copper here so we make some more poles. We'll need lots of poles at some point. And I don't mean the kind that grow in Poland. I do mean the power variety. And I guess I should say born in Poland, not grown. That kind of sounds weird, doesn't it? Hey, we grow our people here. <laughs> well, you know, they grow up, I guess. So it's not totally inaccurate, just mostly inaccurate, which is always a good option. Um... 
Let's see, what do we want to grab now? Oh, steel sounds good. It's got, gonna take a little while, but that's fine. That'll keep it ticking away at it. Okay. That should be enough tree whacking for now. I'll grab them all, them poles fill up. That will be busy for a bit. Let's see how we want to lay this out, I guess, huh? There's a handy coal right there. That will make it a little easier. We can pull coal from right here for our, for our production lines. And we can just use that other coal up there for mostly power. Uh, it looks like. Which is here. Oh, well, there's not too much here. So this will burn up fairly fast. So that's okay, though. Let's uh, start our lines up, though. Generally, the way I like to do them... For the time being, this changes all the time on me. So, not not for any reason of the game's fault, just because I change it all the time. Anyways, if we do it like that, and we come through here, <coughs> go this way, something like that. Uh, we do need some splitters and a few underground belts too. And did we just we just did run out of iron and belt again? Okay. Well, let's go back and get some. How are we coming out? Not bad. It's better than nothing. Like my pappy used to say, it's better than a sharp stick in the eye. He actually did say that too. My dad was full of little wonderful euth euthanisms like that. Little things of wisdom. It's better to be pissed off than pissed on, you know, that kind of stuff. So, right, so we put that in that side and that in that side. Right, right. And we can just run... Well, I guess we can run coal under on this side, huh? Like that. And then the iron can come in here. And there we have a somewhat not quite efficient thing. So let's run the rest of this all the way down here. And we'll just make her 10 spotters on as far as how many we're running down each side. One... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Is this the right ratio to number that will fill this belt? Yada yada. No, not at all. So if you're looking for that, go look somewhere else. Uh, I know that's rude, and I don't care. I'm just building things. I'm just a simple man of plain spoken language. We do need more inserters, though. What we just run out of? More copper. Okay. But there's lots of people that can show you how to do the perfect amount of detailed things. And you know what? There's always that thing where you can just figure it the fuck out yourself. Actually, I, do. I will probably change it to that later. It's... I don't remember exactly what it is. 16 or something like that. We need more iron. Okay, we can take care of that. Give me all your iron. Thank you. Give me more iron. You get no iron. I'm taking it all. Sorry. You guys get the no iron. I'm taking everything.
All right, let's start running some power over that away. get this this is gonna be a terrible thing uh, you know I wonder if I want to spread these out by one might work a little better let's do that just so I don't have to lay down like 700 power poles in it uh, we'll do it like this that idea better. That uh, looks better. Slightly more efficient looking. Not actually more efficient, just looks more efficient. There is a difference there. This thing against... I have this thing against uh, stupid amounts of power poles. Unless I'm doing it on purpose to annoy people. Then it's always good. This is one of them games you can mess with people who think who are like OCD be like, yep, I'm just gonna do this random thing for no reason at all and it's gonna annoy you and I don't care and it's funny. I know. So I'm a terrible, terrible person. I know this. You don't need to tell me this. I am an awful mean person. Uh, let's uh do it that way. Looks a little tiny bit nicer. Neatness isn't the only virtue, but it is one. It's not a very important one, but, you know, if we didn't have any neatness in this world, everybody would be living in the garbage dump, so that would not be good. Everybody's house would look like one of the places you see on hoarders and with all the bugs and, you know, maggots everywhere because they can't clean their stuff up, and, yeah, it'd be pretty awful, so... Just remember that. Let's clean up that one. Alright, there we go. We have a slightly non-functional furnace setup. But we'll continue on building some more of these in the next one. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time.